Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Life Changing Podcast. I'm Logan, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Whether you're just starting your English learning journey or looking for ways to improve, we've got you covered with fun and easy tips to help you along the way. And I'm Jessica. I'm happy to be here with Logan today as your co host. We're here to guide you through today's topic using simple words and easy sentences so everyone can follow along. We love helping you build confidence in speaking English, one step at a time. That's right. In today's episode, we're going to talk about something really important for starting your day how to begin your morning with a healthy breakfast. We'll explore the best ways to fuel your body and mind with nutritious foods that help you stay energized and focused. We know mornings can be busy and sometimes it's hard to know what to eat, but don't worry. We'll share some easy and healthy breakfast ideas that you can make quickly so you don't skip the most important meal of the day. Exactly. By the end of this episode, you'll learn why breakfast is so important and you'll discover a few simple habits that can make your mornings much healthier and more productive. These tips will help you feel better and improve your focus, making your day go smoother. We'll also give you some easy vocabulary words related to food and breakfast that you can use in your daily conversations. Learning these new words will help you talk more confidently about your morning routine. So whether you're at home or on the go, sit back and enjoy this episode. You'll leave with some practical tips you can use right away. Let's get started. So Jessica, why do you think breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Well, Logan, I think it's because breakfast gives us the energy we need after a long night of sleep. When we wake up, our body has gone many hours without food, so it needs fuel to get going. Breakfast helps us focus and feel good in the morning, both mentally and physically. That's true. I've noticed that when I skip breakfast, I don't feel as alert, and I'm often hungry by mid-morning, which can distract me from my work or studies. Exactly. It's much harder to concentrate when you're hungry. Eating a healthy breakfast helps our brain function better, which is really important if you're learning new things or trying to stay productive throughout the day. So what are some of your favorite healthy breakfast? I really enjoy starting my day with oatmeal. It's simple to make and you can add all kinds of toppings to make it even more nutritious. I like to add fresh fruits like bananas, berries, or even some nuts. Oatmeal is not only filling, but also gives you the energy to stay focused throughout the morning. That sounds delicious. Oatmeal is a great option because it's full of fiber, which keeps you feeling full for longer. Personally, I love having eggs for breakfast. They're a fantastic source of protein and you can prepare them in many ways scrambled, boiled, or even as an omelet with vegetables. Eggs are definitely a good choice. They provide protein, which is essential for maintaining energy and building muscle. If you're short on time in the morning, boiled eggs are quick to make, and you can take them with you on the go. That's a great tip. Another breakfast I like is smoothies. When I'm in a hurry or don't feel like cooking, I just blend some fruits like bananas or berries with a little yogurt or milk. It's refreshing, quick, and healthy. Oh, smoothies are one of my favorites, too. They're perfect for busy mornings when you don't have time to sit down for a meal. You can make them even healthier by adding spinach or kale for extra vitamins and minerals. It's a great way to sneak in some greens without really tasting them. Exactly. I love adding spinach to my smoothies. It's such a simple way to boost the nutritional value without changing the taste too much. Plus, it's great for your skin and immune system. Do you have any favorite smoothie recipes? Yes, one of my go-to smoothies is a mix of banana, berries, spinach, and a little almond milk. I also add some chia seeds for extra fiber and omega-3s. It's packed with nutrients and keeps me full for hours. That sounds amazing. I'm definitely going to try that. Speaking of easy breakfasts, yogurt is another great option, right? Absolutely. Yogurt is really versatile. You can eat it plain or mix in fruits, nuts, and even honey for some sweetness. It's high in protein and probiotics, which are good for your digestion. Adding nuts like almonds or walnuts also gives you healthy fats and keeps you full for longer. Yogurt with nuts and honey is one of my favorite combos too. It's sweet, crunchy, and filling, perfect for a quick breakfast or snack. Sometimes I even sprinkle a little cinnamon on top for extra flavor. Cinnamon is a great addition. It not only tastes good, but also has health benefits like helping to regulate blood sugar levels. A sprinkle of cinnamon can make a simple breakfast even better.
That's so true. And for those who prefer something savory in the morning, avocado toast has become really popular. What do you think about that? Oh, I love avocado toast. It's so easy to make. And avocados are full of healthy fats, which are great for your heart. You can spread avocado on whole grain toast and add a pinch of salt, pepper, or even some chili flakes for a little kick. Sometimes I top it with a poached egg to make it more filling. That sounds delicious. I've tried it with a poached egg too, and it really makes it a complete meal. Plus, the combination of the creamy avocado and the egg gives you a nice balance of healthy fats and protein, which is perfect for keeping your energy steady throughout the day. Exactly. It's important to have a good balance of nutrients in the morning, protein, healthy fats, and fiber. This way, you won't feel hungry an hour later. Another thing I like to do is add some veggies like sliced tomatoes or spinach on top of my avocado toast. It's a simple way to include more vegetables in your breakfast. That's a great tip. It's always a good idea to add more veggies when you can. What about drinks, though? Do you have any recommendations for what people should drink with their breakfast? Definitely. Water is always a great choice to start your day, especially after sleeping all night. Your body gets dehydrated, so drinking a glass of water in the morning helps wake you up and gets your metabolism going. But if you're looking for something warm, Green tea is a healthy option. It's full of antioxidants and doesn't have as much caffeine as coffee. That's a great point. I know many people start their day with coffee, but it's important not to rely too much on caffeine, especially on an empty stomach. Green tea is a lighter option and still gives you that little boost of energy. Personally, I like having a glass of water with lemon in the morning. It feels refreshing and helps me wake up. I love lemon water too. It's a simple way to add a bit of flavor while also getting some vitamin C, which is great for your immune system. Plus, it helps with digestion. Right. It's all about starting your day with something that makes you feel good and energized. Another quick breakfast idea I sometimes have is whole grain cereal with milk. It's easy, quick, and if you choose a cereal that's low in sugar and high in fiber, it can be a nutritious option. Cereal is a classic choice and it's perfect for busy mornings when you don't have much time. Just make sure to choose one that's whole grain and doesn't have too much added sugar. You can even add some fruit, like sliced bananas or berries, to make it more filling and nutritious. Yes, adding fruit definitely makes it better. I think it's important to remind our listeners that breakfast doesn't have to be complicated. It can be something simple, like a piece of fruit with some nuts, or even just a slice of whole grain toast with a little peanut butter. Exactly. As long as you're getting a good mix of nutrients, your breakfast can be as simple or as creative as you want. And remember, everyone's mornings are different, so it's all about finding what works best for you. The key is to make sure you eat something, even if it's small, to give your body the fuel it needs. That's such good advice, Jessica. Skipping breakfast might seem like it saves time, but in the long run it can leave you feeling tired and less focused. So even if it's just a quick smoothie or a yogurt, it's important to start your day with something nutritious. Absolutely. And once you make it a habit, it's much easier to stick to it. Your body will thank you for it. It doesn't take long to prepare a healthy breakfast, and the benefits are definitely worth it. I agree. So to recap, we've talked about some great breakfast ideas like oatmeal with fruits, eggs, smoothies, avocado toast, yogurt with nuts, and even a simple bowl of whole grain cereal. There are so many options, and it's all about finding what works for your lifestyle and making sure you're starting your day with the right fuel. That's right. And don't forget to drink water or a healthy beverage like green tea or lemon water to keep yourself hydrated. It's just as important as the food you eat. Exactly. So, listeners, we hope these tips inspire you to make your mornings a little healthier. Remember, breakfast is all about giving your body the energy it needs to power through the day, start small, and find a routine that works for you. Yes, and don't be afraid to experiment with different foods to keep things interesting. A healthy breakfast doesn't have to be boring. It can be fun, delicious, and quick. I couldn't agree more. Now that we've shared some ideas, we'd love to hear from you. What are your favorite healthy breakfasts? Share your thoughts in the comments or try out one of our suggestions and let us know how it goes. We can't wait to hear what you all come up with. And remember... Starting your day with a healthy breakfast can make a big difference in how you feel and perform throughout the day, especially if you're learning English or working hard at something new. That's right. 
A strong morning routine, including a good breakfast, can help you stay focused and energized, whether you're studying, working, or just trying to have a productive day. So let's make it a healthy start. Thanks for listening, everyone. We hope you found these tips helpful and that you're excited to try some new breakfast ideas. Stay tuned for more episodes where we'll continue sharing simple, practical ways to improve your English and your daily routines. We'll be right back after this break. Now let's take a moment to learn some new words related to breakfast. These are words you can use when talking about food and staying healthy. The first word we're going to learn today is nutrients. Nutrients are important substances in food that help our bodies grow and stay strong. For example, vitamins, minerals, and proteins are all types of nutrients. You need them to feel healthy and energetic throughout the day. That's a good one. The next word is protein. Protein helps build muscles and keeps you feeling full for a longer time. Foods like eggs, chicken, beans, and nuts are great sources of protein. It's one of the key nutrients you want to include in your breakfast to help you stay strong. Great. And our last word for today is smoothie. A smoothie is a thick, cold drink made by blending fruits and sometimes vegetables with liquids like milk, yogurt, or juice. Smoothies are easy to make and a healthy option for breakfast because you can pack in lots of vitamins and nutrients in one drink. Now let's practice saying these words together. The first word is nutrients. Listen carefully. Nutrients. Repeat after me. Nutrients. 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 The second word is protein. It's pronounced protein. Try saying it with us. Protein. Protein. And finally, we have smoothie. It's pronounced smoothie. Let's say it together. Smoothie. 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 Nice job, everyone. Keep practicing these words and try using them when you talk about your breakfast or food in general. Yes, the more you practice, the more confident you'll feel using new words in your everyday conversations. You're doing great. Keep listening for more words and phrases in the next episodes. Expanding your vocabulary is an important step in improving your English. Now it's your turn to practice. This is a great way to build your confidence in speaking English. Let's start by thinking about your own breakfast. What do you usually eat for breakfast? Picture it in your mind. Do you have eggs, oatmeal, fruit, or maybe a smoothie? Think about the words we've learned today. All right, let's practice the sentence together. Repeat after me. I eat a healthy breakfast every morning. I eat a healthy breakfast every morning. I eat a healthy breakfast every morning. Great, let's try another one. Repeat after me. Breakfast helps me feel energized. Breakfast helps me feel energized. Breakfast helps me feel energized. Nice job. Now let's practice using one of the new words we learned. Say this with me. Protein is important for a strong body. Protein is important for a strong body. Protein is important for a strong body. Excellent. How about we try one more? Repeat after me. A smoothie is a quick and healthy breakfast. A smoothie is a quick and healthy breakfast. A smoothie is a quick and healthy breakfast. Awesome work. Keep practicing these sentences every day. The more you repeat, the easier it gets to use these words in your daily life. Remember, practicing small sentences like these can really help you improve your English. So next time you have breakfast, try describing it in English. So in today's episode, we talked about why breakfast is such an important meal. We discussed how it gives you energy, helps you focus, and gets your day off to a good start. We also shared some simple and healthy breakfast ideas like oatmeal with fruits, eggs, and... That's right. We learned that having a balanced breakfast is not just about eating something in the morning, but about choosing the right foods that can fuel your body. Whether it's adding some protein like eggs or packing in nutrients with a fruit smoothie, starting your day with healthy choices makes a big difference. We also introduced some new vocabulary words today. Remember the word nutrients? Nutrients are the healthy substances in food that help our bodies stay strong and energized. And we learned about protein, which is important for building muscles and keeping you full throughout the day. Protein can be found in eggs, yogurt, nuts, and even in smoothies. Speaking of smoothies, we talked about how a smoothie is a drink made by blending fruits and sometimes vegetables. It's a quick, tasty, and nutritious option for breakfast, especially when you're in a hurry. 
So remember to use these words, nutrients, protein, and smoothie in your daily conversations. The more you practice, the more comfortable you'll get with these new words. Exactly. Keep these ideas in mind when you plan your breakfast tomorrow. It's a simple way to start your day off right and improve your English at the same time. Now it's your turn. We'd love to hear from you. What is your favorite healthy breakfast? Is it oatmeal, eggs, smoothies, or something else? Share your answer in the comments below. We're excited to see your ideas and maybe even try out some of your suggestions. Yes, and remember, learning a language is all about practice. So why not use today's new words, nutrients, protein, and smoothie, to describe your breakfast in English? It's a great way to improve your skills while talking about something simple and fun. And if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe to the Life Changing Podcast. We release new episodes regularly, all designed to help you improve your English with easy and useful tips. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. You can also follow us on social media for more content and to stay updated on what's coming next. Thanks again for joining us today. We hope you learned something new and feel more confident in your English. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in the next episode. Be sure to tune in next time where we'll be talking about how to make healthy snacks for those busy days. You won't want to miss it. See you then.